time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. Well, after a beautiful start to the week with lots of sunshine and summer-like conditions, we flipped the script as expected on this Wednesday. Wet and stormy weather pattern that sets up for the next few days. We are definitely watching Sunday very closely for an organized severe weather threat. Of course, that coincides with the holiday weekend. Folks out and about, that's always a concern. And the shower and storm chances should be on the table for Memorial Day. Plenty of activity out there right now, basically from the southern side of the metro through a lot of southern Kentucky. We've had uh, round after round of moderate to heavy rainfall, a lot of lightning as well. Here's the cell that prompted the warning. It's basically on the south side of Somerset, running down through Burnside, east side of Lake Cumberland here. Uh, the hail, I think, beginning to go away. Maybe some small hail along the Russell and Wayne County line. But again, this area has been worked over with several rounds of torrential rain. So uh, a bit of uh, flooding concern may be realized there. And this cluster getting its act together, Richmond, but more so running from uh, Lancaster uh, off to the southeast. East Crab Orchard there along US 150 and uh, the skit data there picking up on the potential of maybe some small hail out of this one as it heads toward Irvin Ravenna and Estill County High School. That's coming up at uh, about 608 just right after the top of the hour. You see that bit of pink there uh, east of Berea and eventually that's going to shift out of eastern Madison County and into southwestern parts of Estill County. Uh, notice the concentration of the storms down south. We had a few here in the bluegrass earlier and there's more out west, but the, the caveat here is some of the data indicating some warmer air in the mid levels, which suppresses or caps some of that. So we'll have to watch to see if this stuff in western Kentucky holds together and gets in here. Organize severe weather down south with a line of storms. They've had severe thunderstorm watches western and now into central Tennessee. We're still under the level two uh, risk out of five, much of central and eastern Kentucky. Tornado threat low, always a great thing this time of the year. Damaging winds and large hail to primary threats. Overcast in Mount Sterling, Montgomery County Courthouse 75. A little breezy as it has been. And checking out Casey County, of course. Uh, some of those storms exiting the area, but you can see the uh, wet weather and the uh, rain on the camera lens, 67 with the rain-cooled air there. And temperatures across the area, down south cooler where it's been raining elsewhere, mid to upper 70s. When you stepped out today, the air probably felt a little heavy, mid to upper 60 dew points. That's how it is in the summer. So lots of available moisture, frontal boundary in place, and it's putting on the brakes. So that's going to keep the rain and storm chances in play as we go forward here. Now, this may end up being conditional as far as that next cluster coming through on how things develop out to the west. I think a lull overnight, and then with that boundary close, and still plenty of moisture around. We'll see several rounds of showers and storms. It does look like tomorrow, similar scenario along and south of I-64, low end level one threat. Again, uh, maybe uh, some small hail and some gusty to damaging winds. Upper level flow parallel to the boundary that'll be setting overhead. So that's gonna keep the rain chances around. Now, eventually this thing will get kicked eastward but then it will be replaced by another system. So that's going to keep the rain and storm chances around into Friday, heading into the holiday weekend. I think a little less of a chance for the day on Saturday. And we do warm up into the low 80s. So we do drop the chances on Saturday, but we're going to increase them on Sunday. And here's why. Stronger area of low pressure spins through on Sunday. And we could have a couple of waves and a lot of the dynamics coming together. We hang on to some shower chances for the holiday on Monday. But the concern is the Storm Prediction Center extended outlook shows an elevated severe weather threat throughout the entire area on Sunday. Again, holiday weekend, folks are out camping out on the lake. This is just a little heads up for you. You want to keep an eye on the weather into the middle part of the holiday weekend. Mostly cloudy, scattered storms continuing this evening and a little less of a chance overnight, 66, 78. Occasional rain storms tomorrow. And just keep that rain gear handy. It won't rain all day, every day. Gonna hang on to the rain and storm chances for Memorial Day and then finally winding things down and cooling it down a bit during the middle part of next week with highs in the low to mid 70s.